Pool camp's going great. Um, you know, it's been a big transition from year one to year two for me. Uh, just knowing the offense and, you know, just kind of keeping my nose down, just grinding and just trying to get better every day. Feels physically different this year than you did last year? Definitely. Um, we have a great strength staff here. Um, and I feel like, you know, I've worked hard to get faster and get stronger um, and come back a, a more physically dominant player in year two, for sure. Uh, Kane's a great dude. Uh, he works really hard. Um, you know, he comes from Stanford, which kind of runs the same, you know, pro style offense as we do here, obviously. Um, so, you know, he's learning really quick and he's, uh, you know, he runs good routes. He blocks well. He's a, uh, and he's a really good dude off the field too. How do you approach that when, you know, you finish the season on the roster, uh -huh. they draft somebody, you know, they bring a couple veterans in, one already, uh, isn't here anymore, but mm -hmm. I mean, when I was a rookie, you know, it was kind of uh, crazy to me because guys are coming in and out um, just like, you know, just, you know, every day. But now it's just kind of something you're used to. And, you know, it doesn't change who you are as a player or what you do every day. Uh, you just come and, you know, just grind to try and get better no matter what is going on. Um, I mean, it could be, but I don't really look at it as, like, stressful. Um, I just look at it as we're trying to just make the best team possible we have here, and the coaches are doing everything that they think is the right move, you know, and I'm just trying to, uh, you know, stay humble and hungry and just keep grinding. You mentioned Caden played in a pro-style offense. What, what was your offense like at San Diego, and what was the, the big learning curve for you last year? Um, our, our offense is really similar to a pro-style um, I was hand in the ground and flexed out like we do here. Um, really, the biggest change for me was just the speed of the game. Um, you know, coming from FCS, it's still really great football, but, um, you know, it, people are just bigger, faster, and stronger here in the league. So that's kind of was the big, the big difference for me is just, you know, learning the speed of the game and, and getting the grasp of the offense and everything. At what point did you realize that you belong here? Um... That's, uh, you know, through OTAs last year, you know, it was kind of a slap in the face, like, wow, um, it is a lot faster and guys are a lot stronger than, you know, at San Diego. Um, but, you know, through training camp last year, I started, you know, getting the hang of it. And, you know, it's great having George and Selleck as two, you know, solid veterans that, you know, are great dudes and I can learn from them. And having uh, Coach Embo, he's been um, a great coach to me and, a uh, great leader, so it's it's been an easy transition. Have you done most work with, with Nick and CJ, and, and how do they differentiate? Um, they're really similar players. They both are super accurate, have really strong arms, um, great dudes off the field. Um, I have gotten a lot of work with them. I worked with CJ a little bit in uh, Nashville this off season, which was nice to you know get some throws from from him. And then uh, last preseason, I was with Nick a lot. Um, and then now I'm starting to get some rest with Jimmy. So we're just, you know, I'm kind of developing chemistry with all three of those guys. What's the biggest strength of your game right now? I think my biggest strength would just be how I catch the ball um, and how I run my routes. Um, and, you know, I've been working on my blocking a lot, so I'm trying to make that a strength in my game too. With Selleck likely out for a while, how much do you see that as an opportunity for yourself? I mean, I think it's a big opportunity. Um, you know, you never want to see someone you look up to that much, you know, go down or get hurt. But, you know, I think it's a big opportunity for me to show the coaches what I can do. You talk about the blocking. Is that something that, like, Coach Emory is you know, trying to stress to you that that's an area of your game that you have room, more room to grow? Uh, for sure. I mean, you know, we play uh, – the tight end is on the front side of a lot of blocks in this offense. So, you know, he stresses if you can't block, you're not going to play. You know, so because play action is a big part of our game, so the tight end needs to be a big part of the blocking scheme. So I've definitely tried to improve that part of my game. You were with, with George in, in Nashville uh, this offseason. I mean, anything that you were able to kind of pick up from him uh, during that time? Yeah, I mean, I really just look at, I try and pick up anything I can from George, whether I'm in Nashville or here or wherever. You know, um, you know, he was in the Pro Bowl last year. Like, he's a great leader for our team, he's a captain. Um, and he's a great friend, 
you know, so I just try and pick up anything I can from him, whether it's football or just off the field stuff. Well, well, yeah, what is the part of the more you kind of look at and go, wow, that's, that's impressive? Um, I mean, just his, he's, he plays with just so much grit. Um, you know, he's, he's just so physical and just the way he attacks the ball and runs after the catch, like, it's, it's something I've never seen in a tight end or really a player. You know, it's just he's so gritty on the field, and he just battles so hard. Is that something you can summon? Definitely, definitely. You know, I've, I feel like I'm a, I'm a gritty player too, you know, coming undrafted from a small FCS school. Um, I've had to battle to get to where I am, and that's not going to change.